people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another FNAF news video. We have a lot to go through today. Also, I may be missing out on some things. We have been getting a lot of news recently, especially for security breach, so if I've missed some things, I'm really sorry. Also, I'm recording this on the 18th of July and I'm expecting that I'm going to post this uh, tomorrow on the 19th, so if anything comes up between now and then, I most certainly will have missed it. At least in this video, it will probably get slated onto the next news video, which knowing this franchise will probably be like next week or something. Anyways, let's hop straight into it. Also, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try and leave timestamps in the description. So if you want to check out a certain news regarding the franchise, um, it should also come up when you like you you scroll your mouse over the uh, the timeline of the video It should say like oh, we're gonna be talking about Scholastic's new book here. Oh, we're gonna be talking about FNAF AR right here Hopefully that works out well. I don't know how well it's going to work But I'm gonna try and get that done So if you want to skip to some point in the video feel free to anyways speaking of Scholastic's new book uh, they're making a new book the official five nights at Freddy's coloring book was announced a couple days ago over on Amazon. Now, we already have a coloring book. Um, I think it's called The Art with Edge. Uh, it has Mangle on the cover, so we already have a coloring book, but I guess this is the official one coming from Scholastic. So that's really exciting because um, The Art with Edge was made by Crayola. It looks like it will be releasing on January 1st, 2021, so quite a ways away. Um, there's no cover, there's no description, this is all we have on it so far. So Click Team announced uh, the other day that Nintendo of Europe and Xbox versions of Sister Location are live, and they are still working with Sony on their release. For some reason, it appears that Sony has moved the release date from July 10th, 2022 to July 20th, 2022. They are working with them to assure that both North America and Europe version of Sister Location release at the same time, and they apologize for the delay. They say that they are highly frustrated, and they had the team triple check to make sure that they were good with Sony North America. Once they saw it had not released, they logged in to see it now has the release date of the 20th. So a bit of technical difficulties going on there, and Click Team is really sorry about that. Hopefully they can get it sorted out sometime very soon. Uh, worst case scenario, we're just gonna have to wait a couple more days. The more exciting news from Click Team is that they have announced that they will wrap up all seven initial console ports by mid-September at the latest. That is very, very, very exciting. So all we're waiting for is Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night to come to consoles, and at the very latest, they'll be coming out by mid-September, which is, what, two months away? So in the next two months, we will have all of the games officially ported to iOS, Android, and consoles. That is really exciting news. Moving on to FNAF AR. FNAF AR had an update recently where they introduced profile packs that you can buy for three United States dollars. They'll give you a pack with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and I believe they've also added Mangle to the mix. And with your purchase, you will also receive 300 FAS tokens, which Honestly, that's not a bad deal for only three bucks. They did have a hiccup the other day where they put in Lefty's profile picture instead of Toy Freddy's, which led many people, including myself, to theorize that maybe Lefty is the new character that Illumix has announced will be coming in August. Speaking of that, he was Q and saying it herself. Uh, she did a AMA over on her Instagram recently, and this is what she said. The question is, are you thinking of adding more characters in FNAF AR, Nightmares, Fun Times, etc.? And she said, yes, lots of new characters coming. One in August, and then lots more fan favorites this fall. We have been dealing with COVID, also building out even more original AR tech to support some cool stuff for the future. That's really all I can share. So we have one new character coming next month and then loads more in the fall, which is really exciting. It's been a long time since we've had um, a character. Last time I said Mangle was our last one and some people corrected me saying actually it was 8-Bit Baby. But really, do you really count 8-Bit Baby as a character? I mean, technically she is, but like, come on. Moving on to Security Breach. Now, this section will not contain spoilers, just want to say that, it will not contain contain spoilers. I had to think about that for a moment, but I should be able to hide the fact that 
there are spoilers on these posts, and I mentioned this previously, but in case you go on the Reddit, keep in mind that the spoiler tag for security breach information has been lifted. So if you don't want to get spoiled, I suggest staying away from Reddit, um, especially anything involving security breach. So some people have noticed that the merchandise for security breach has moved to early to mid August. And I've said this before, my theory is that the original release date for the game was in August, but they pushed it back to continue working on it. Um, and now, instead of releasing the game in August, they will release a trailer in August. So far, the action figures have a release date of August 21st, and the calendar has a release date of, let me see, August 1st. What's even more interesting is I announced this on my Twitter a while back when I actually did it, um, but I have purchased the action figures and, let me see, how much? Um, five mystery minis for Security Breach. And their expected release date is actually August 15th. So it seems like the release dates for this merchandise um, are a bit, you know, inconsistent. So that that's kind of odd, but I guess sometime in August, all the merchandise will be releasing. At least all the merchandise that we know of so far. Again, the calendars and the, uh, the action figures and the mystery minis. So I said this before, and I should have grouped this in with the FNAF AR, news but hey that that's my fault um but toy bonnie is back in fnaf AOR, so there he is he's a permanent character now to the roster and he can appear naturally i'm not sure what streak he appears at i'm guessing it's probably higher than toy chica which i think she appears at like streak 10 or something we're almost done still War studios have um now released the oculus port of help wanted they released it uh, a couple days ago over on the 16th and they just tweeted out now and that's it. So yeah, that is out if you want to get it on the Oculus Quest. Did I say? What did I say? It's, it's out on the Oculus Quest. I don't think I said it, but it's the Quest. Um, and finally, this is something that most likely will have changed since the release of this video, but we have had a lot of new voice actors and actresses for Security Breach. I've made two videos on it so far, so if you've missed out on those, you can go check them out in the description. So yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on them in this video because, again, I've already done videos on them. So that is all of the news so far. Again, some things may be slightly different because I'm recording this, like, a day earlier than it's going to come out, so if I've missed some things, sorry. Also, I should have grouped these a lot better so I could, you know, easily put them with the timestamps, so I guess I made it harder on myself, so... That sucks, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.